please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. Dave Williams, Wayne Wright here with today's video, Superbike or Super Bust? Dave Moss got me this bike. It's a GSX-R750 some years back in trade for video work. It's an 04, same gen as the red Trasher Treasure 750, which is why I got that Trasher Treasure 750, because I got one. He said that this was an Arclite Superbike. Arclite was a team back in that time period that raced in the AMA. He said it's a Superbike from back then. So I got the bike and I thought, uh, this does not look like a super bike. It just looked like a clapped out race bike, club race bike. I mean, the rebound adjusters on the forks were so smashed, I'd take a Dremel tool in there, widen up the gap so I could get a screwdriver blade in and do the adjusting. And it just had a stock crappy shock. And then Moss got me a cool Elka shock and we upgraded it. Fantastic bike, oh my gosh. A buddy with an 848, he said, is your bike a 750? And I said, yeah. He says, it's not a normal 750 because 750s can't keep up with my 848 on the straights. And I was crushing it. So I was like, well, maybe there is something to this bike. Then my son, you got to love your sons. Love the children. They lose hammers. They lose your tools. And they crash your bikes. So he crashed it and punched a hole in the stator cover. And then the fun began. Now, also in this video, we're going to take a look at the chain on it. It has a particular wear issue, and we'll look at that and what to do about it. So here's a preview. Back in the day, this was a quite famous road racing motorcycle belonging to a certain David Stanton. And it was on the AMA circuit and did extremely well. The engine was built specifically at that time for racing at national level. So even though this is an older bike, it has an engine in it that is by no means slow. Even after all this time with regular servicing and keeping the engine up, and it's been rebuilt three times, what we have is something quite special, even though you look at the bike and go, ah, that's way too old. So, in getting that, it came with these specific case covers. And when Dave's son crashed the bike at Miller, we're like, oh, no problem. We will go get ourselves a standard cover that will replace this cover, and we'll just go ahead and swap the stator over and put it inside of here where there are three bolt marks here for the standard stator and we'll be good to go. So this was ordered right away before we actually took a minute to take this off and see what we had. Now the problem is, two more Dave? That's all that's left on the planet? That one and one other. So this and one other is all that is left as far as we can tell in North America. We can't find any others anywhere for any reason. So we're also going to have to get paper towels to pack in the holes here all the way around so that as you pull the paper towel out, any debris we have instantly comes with the towel. So it's critical whenever you're cleaning gasket surfaces like this, you have to make sure it is impossible for any material to get inside. Another way of doing it is actually putting grease down around the area so we have that gap all the way around it. So that won't work at all. So now let's weigh them. Push mode on the right. The button on the right. No. Up here. No. There you go. No. You're killing me. That's zero, not mode. Oh. All right, I'm killing you. All right, stay to cover with mounting bolts. Yeah, for the market one. For the kick cover. Ten point nine out, eleven ounces. So we'll go with eleven ounces. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this whole little kit here is worth three to four horsepower, easy. I thought, well, I'll just take it to the local weld shop and just have them bead some uh, aluminum patch over it. Easy day. What we have to do next, there's always a tiny bit of silicone here. 
up where the cases meet and there should actually be a little bit there on this side but in cleaning everything off I made sure that was really clean so we're going to put a tiny dab of silicone bolts are dirty so we need to clean all that up put all our bolts in and torque them to the right specs we'll have to go look at what that is in the manual and then job done Okay, so here's the chain off the 750. Well, it's actually on the 750. And notice we've got the master link here. But look at the other links to the left of the master link. Those are not straight. Now, there's plenty of slack in this thing, as you can see. Right here, right? So let's manipulate these. Look at that. Actually, this isn't my first rodeo with Super Trick race bikes. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com.